Again. Quisiperum, Saiwai, Memorum, Eunonis, of Iram. Better, Ere Lamimir. Continue, Ere Zerchnes. Voltaquoque, et bello, hasus, to coderet, orbem. Erailum, from the beginning. Arma, vidamque, cano, troiae, qui primus aboris. Hmm. Erobo, and? Italian faccio, profugus, loveniaque, veni, litera. Er stipo. Er stipo. Sir? Continue, please. Er stipo. Lauriniaque venit litora. Yes. Mutum enim. Enim? Mutum olim? Olim. Mutum olim. So then somehow the pious Aeneas have already suffered much in the days still to come? Er stipo? Do you have any idea what you're saying? If you please. Oh, pardon me? If you please, Herr Sonnenstitch, can't we at least consider Multum Olim as a plausible conjecture for how the text might read? Eric of Bor, we are hardly here today to conjecture about textual conjectures. The boy has made an error. That's an understandable error, sir. Indeed, if we could only entertain the fitness of the conjecture. Multum Olim! Consider the fresh rhetorical balance. Multum Olim introducing multa quoque, a parallel, sir, between what Aeneas has already suffered and those sufferings on land and sea just ahead. Eric of Bor, since the days of Servius, Alias Gaius and Claudius Dinatus. Nay, since the moment of Virgil's death, our world has been littered with more than sufficient critical commentary on textual conjecture. With all respect, sir, are you then suggesting that there is no further room for critical thought or ah! I am suggesting no such thing. I am confirming that Aristotle has made an error, and I am asking, nay, demanding that you amend his faulty text and proceed from there. Do I make myself clear? Eric Abor! Ah! Eric Abor! Do I make myself clear? Yes, Herr Sonnenstitch. Litera multum ille. All of you, together with Melchior Gabor, la winiaque winit. Litera 